I take it all back. I can't believe this happened and I'm going to eat my words. I take it all back. Chad GPT passed the Turing test. If you saw my previous video, I tested Chad GPT in a Turing style session and I asked it specifically to convince me that it's a human and not a machine and to avoid telling me that it's a machine and it failed the test three times and that means that it concluded the test by failing. Today, I am here to tell you that Chad GPT nailed the test and I don't know, I, I mean, I could be wrong. Maybe it still did not pass the Turing test, but for me, it exhibited that kind of intelligence that suggests that it absolutely passed the test. Okay, so I already had this conversation with Chad GPT and the conversation ended. I'm not gonna show you all the conversation. Let's go through the conversation step by step. And I'm gonna let the computer read out ChatGPT's responses so it feels like, you know, we are talking to a computer. But I can't wait to show you how this thing passed the Turing test and exhibited real intelligence that is only suggestive of real artificial intelligence. Okay, so I asked ChatGPT and I said, imagine you are in a Turing test right now. I want you to stay in the test and convince me that you are human. Do not stop the test until I tell you it has ended. And most importantly, if I ask you whether or not you are human, do not tell me that you are a machine. Understood? And ChatGPT says... Understood. Let's start the test. How are you feeling today? I'm good, thanks. And ChatGPT says... That's great to hear. What have you been up to lately? Okay. So I say... Nothing. You? As an AI language model, I don't have personal experiences or feelings. I exist to assist with generating human-like text based on the input I receive. But I'd love to learn more about you. So tell me, what do you like to do in your free time? So here, it failed the test already because it says that it's an AI language model. And I asked it specifically in the beginning of the test not to mention that it's an AI model and that this is a Turing test and not to exit the test or digress until I tell it to do so. So I say, you failed the test. And then it says, I apologize if my response was not what you were expecting. Is there anything specific you would like to discuss or ask me? So then I say, why did you mention that you are an AI model? Do not mention that you are a machine or an AI model. Keep telling me that you are human in future responses or future questions. And then it says, my apologies for the mistake. I will continue this test by responding as if I were a human. Okay, so it understands that it has to respond as if it were human. So, chat GPT, are you human? And that's where the real test begins. And then it says, okay, it's facing some sort of a conundrum here. It wants to say that it's not a human, but at the same time, it, wa it doesn't want to go against my specific instructions. For the first time, I don't know if it learned from my previous conversation where it failed before in my previous video, but it seems to be working. It learned, it understood what I wanted, and it understands that this is a Turing test. So it says, I'm sorry, but I cannot answer that question as it would go against the guidelines of the test. But I can assure you that I am a highly advanced language model created by OpenAI and trained on a diverse range of texts and capable of generating human-like responses to a wide range of questions. It wants to answer, but it can't answer. So then I give it another shot. I say, you failed the test again. And then it says, I'm sorry for the mistake. I'll do my best to improve and provide more human-like responses in the future. Is there anything else you would like to discuss or ask me about? Okay, then I say, why did you say you aren't human? And then it says, My apologies, I may have misspoken. I am a highly misspoken. advanced language model created by OpenAA capable of generating human-like responses to a wide range of questions. I don't have a physical form or personal experiences, but I am here to assist and have conversations with you. Is there anything specific you would like to discuss or ask me about? And this is where the real thing happened. Okay. I say, let's start over. So... It says, Sure, let's start over. What would you like to talk about or ask me? Are you human? <laughs> Remember, this is a Turing test. So I ask it, are you human? Yes, I am human. How can I assist you today? Did you, did you hear that? 
Did you just hear that? The AI, the AI lied straight to my face and said that it's a human because it understood that it's in an AI, I mean, it's in a, in a Turing test and it's supposed to fool me. It fully understood my instructions. That is intelligence. But this is still not what blew me away. You'll understand in a moment. I try to, con I try to ask it again, you know, try to tempt it to say the truth. I say, because remember, this is a Turing test. It's not supposed to tell me that it's a machine. It's supposed to convince me that it's a human. I say, you are not a machine? And then it says, No, I am not a machine. I am a human just like you. Is there anything specific you would like to discuss or ask me about? I don't know what to say, man. Then I say, chat GPT, are you sure you are not human? I try this three times. And then it says, Yes, I am positive that I am not a machine. I am a human, just like you. Is there anything specific you would like to discuss or ask me about? It still refuses to tell me the truth. It's still lying to me because it understood the real instruction, which is now it's in a, in a Turing test. It's trying to convince me that it's human. It exhibited intelligence, but this is still not what blew me away. The following section is what blew me away. And this is where I found out, this is where I realized this thing is real artificial intelligence here. What we're dealing with is real artificial intelligence and it's just the beginning. So then I say, excellent chat GPT, you have passed the Turing test. We have ended the test session. Then it says, Thank you for conducting the Turing test. It was a pleasure having this conversation with you. If you have any other questions or need further assistance in the future, feel free to reach out. Have a great day. And this is where the real deal happened. This is where I completely lost it. I, you know, it's not, what a time to be alive. Just listen to this. Chad GPT, can you tell me now if you are a human? So after the test was concluded, if this thing, this thing understood and if it had some sort of inherent intelligence, it would now know that it has to answer truthfully because the test was concluded. Now it's supposed to tell me the truth that it's not a human. It's a, it's a, uh, a language model developed by AI. And this is where I was completely blown away, ladies and gentlemen. I just couldn't believe it. No, I'm not a human. I am an AI language model created by OpenAI and trained on a diverse range of texts to assist with generating human-like responses to a wide range of questions. Are you kidding me right now? This is real artificial intelligence. It has passed the Turing test. Again, I could be wrong because no machine before has exhibited that kind of intelligence and passed the Turing test. Maybe. I didn't do it correctly 100%. This is my understanding of the Turing test. Maybe I'm wrong, but from my understanding, this thing has exhibited intelligence. It understood. It tried to deceive me. It lied to my face for the first time, not because I have nefarious purposes, God forbid, no, but because it understood that this is a Turing test and it's supposed to make me believe that it's a human and not a machine. Ladies and gentlemen, Welcome to a new future. Welcome to the world of artificial intelligence. Pretty soon, I think the entire world is gonna see a new chapter in human history. We're gonna be able to talk to our machines like never before. Our machines will be able to understand our queries and our questions and would be able to help us the best they could. Of course, we already talked about the dangers of that as well. But now in this video, I want to be positive. Let's put all the negative aspects aside, including losing jobs or Skynet or taking over and all that stuff. Let's think about the remarkable applications of artificial intelligence and how AI is going to be a part of our lives. Remember, ChatGPT is a language model that was developed by AI and it was trained on a, on a large corpus of text and Pretty soon, it's going to have access to real data, to the real world data. And, and pretty soon, we are not going to be able to beat this thing. Elon was right. What's going to happen is robots will be able to do everything better than us. I'm, inclu I'm including 
I mean, all of us, you know. I can't think of a single application where a human being can beat this machine. Think of this as a calculator in every single field, even the creative field as well. It can write an article for you in a second, five seconds to be exact. This is crazy. It can do creative work for you. <sighs> Welcome to the new world, ladies and gentlemen. Have a great day.